uh, for my wife a couple of months ago, and I uh, paid forty thousand dollars for it. You want to sell it? Yes, sir. How much were you looking for? Twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand. It's twenty carats. Ten thousand dollars. Oh my God! Are you serious? Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. First up is this customer named Crystal, who came in to offload a couple gems she has inherited from her recently deceased grandmother. I'm Crystal. Crystal, very nice to Thank meet you. So nice. She just passed not too long ago. Oh really? Sorry. I'm sorry. When I was younger. How much did you want for these? Anything. I really want to help this girl out, but these stones look like glass to me. From the price she quoted, it was quite clear she wasn't expecting much off the stone, and neither did Ashley, since she felt they were glass and nothing more. Times are hard right now. Yeah. He is very tight. Yeah. These away, because right. I wanted them myself. You know what? If you want to leave these with us, I'll have him take a look. What the hell is my dad doing? I mean, I'll try to help you as much as we can. Right. You know. I mean, any penny. Ashley was dead set on stopping her father from getting the gems checked, since she believed it was a waste of time entirely, but Les remained obstinate. Earlier in the day, a woman brings in, they look just like crystals, but I have a gem expert. Appraise them. Tell me what they are. This glass could be something. With the expert on the case, the gold duo could only watch with great anticipation for whatever result he delivers. These are holy. Oh my God. What is it? Check it out. We never get hits like this. We're going to change this woman's life. She's going to flip. Yeah. Ashley's tone immediately changed from trying to stop what she believed to be an unproductive endeavor to being an over-the-top believer in the fact that this deal could become a life-changing one for the seller. Oh my god. So we're in a hard times right now, right? Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> while suffering a very huge crisis that had left them with little to almost no cash at the store. Rich has to make a tough call when a customer brings in a very nice piece of jewelry he was hoping to get rid of. Uh, for my wife a couple of months ago and I uh, paid $40,000 for it. It's 20 carats. Give me one second, okay? I'll right. be right back. All right. Bracelet with big diamonds throughout the whole entire thing. This thing's worth a lot of money. Since he doesn't exactly know how to progress and most definitely doesn't want to lose his totally awesome offer, Rich decides to approach Seth for further instructions. This thing, okay? okay? He wants 20 grand. How much How much should I offer? I'm going to go talk to him. All right? I have no cash in the business. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Good. I'm Seth. Clifton. Clifton? Nice doing, to meet Seth? you. Caught her cheating on me. Just uh, want to get rid of I don't want any memories of her. With the awful memory attached to the bracelet, Seth can be rest assured that the man most definitely doesn't even want anything to do with any more. All he has to do is push a bit. I want to help you out. How much are you looking for? I need at least 20. Yeah, 20 is not going to happen. How about 5,000? Oh, no. 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 Could you go 15? How about 9,000? Will we work with that? We got a deal. Nine grand. OK. Uh, Seth was too aggressive with the push on the price. It's very surprising. The fact the man agreed to even sell the bracelet for that low when he asked for 20000 initially. I'm going to run him back. I'm going to go grab you a check. And no, I can't take a check. No, that's the only thing I'm working with. We need the cash. The tuition have to, and the books have to be paid for. I, I don't have it here today. I can't do anything. Sorry. Thank you. That was a very awesome deal. That would have made them a huge profit. But since they couldn't offer the man the cash he desperately needed, all Seth can do is watch the man walk out. Well, that is until Les stepped in. My friend. How was it going to land? 9,000? All right. I'm only talking. Perfect. Thank you so much, Les. My pleasure. Thank Good luck. Thank you. It was quite surprising to see Les pull out that amount of money. When they had been fretting over the lack of their funds earlier, Seth couldn't help but want to ask questions. Seth would have lost a valuable piece that we could have made profit on. It's going to be a lesson learned for him. There was no way I could let it go. You knew it yourself, could you? You need my help now. I can admit it. I need your help. I f***ed up bad. You thought you knew it all? But you have a long way to go to sit in this chair. Remember that. Seth really did come in clutch, and Seth couldn't help but agree with that. 
but Les feels like it would have been the perfect way to instill the right lesson into his progeny in preparation for the future. How did you know I had cash problems? I always know what's happening in my store. And as you told me, you didn't know how to handle it. These kind of situations, you don't have to worry. We have enough money. I got us covered. I told my sister that I was in a little bit of a jam, and she ratted me out. There will be a time, and I am grooming you, but I'm not leaving. Deal with it. A customer walked into the store dressed in one of the most elaborate pieces of fabric ever. How can I help you? I need to sell this earring because my little red Corvette broke down. Oh, no, no kidding. Design. Absolutely. Wow, imagine for me. Sure. You know who I am, right? Uh, no. Who are you? Don't, you don't know who I am. <laughs> Seth wasn't in the bit interested, but since he didn't want to appear as a full-on spoil sport, he decided to humor the man instead of playing his very odd game. Is <laughs> your neighbor, isn't it? Prince, right? Prince, absolutely. Wow. Uh -oh. Oh. Wild. You like mine? Where do you get that? I designed all of my own clothes. Oh, so you make yourself? Yep, I can make you one. No. Are your parents see through? Uh -oh. That's no. Oh. And you're watching it. Oh. No. The guy refused to catch the cue and decided to go all out by giving the duo a very good show, even if they clearly didn't want one. I need about a thousand. Thousand? I'm yeah. just asking for a thousand just to get my limo. No. Imitation prints, imitation earring. Is that right? That's right. The earring's not real. But I bet your wife didn't say that last night. Oh, yeah. that, now, now you're just. I'm done here. You are, exactly. You are done. You all have a good day. Take care of my purple rain right out. Fake jewelry for a fake prince indeed. He wasted so much time already, there's no way they'd want him to continue further with that venture. Oh, here we go. Not done. Oh, he's about to do something. He's about to do something. Ah, oh, that's not okay. Ashley was manning the pawn counter when she was angrily approached, who marched over in screaming orders. Hi. Hi. manager. That's me. How can I help you? My wedding ring that's $5,000, you guys have it. Where's the pawn ticket? When Ashley asked for the pawn ticket, from the face the lady made, it's quite obvious she didn't even think to bring it along with her. My husband's laundry this morning, and I pull his wallet out. There's a pawn slip from you guys. So I put it back in his wallet. So your husband pay for it and get my ring back. Did you make a police report? No, I didn't. I'm not going to call the cops on my husband. I'm coming to you to get my ring back. She's coming from a good place. Fine. But there's no way the shop would actually hand over an item without seeing a pawn ticket or an ID from the person who pawned it. Did you think about asking your husband for the ticket? Oh my, Let look up the name, okay. Tommy, how so much I owe you. I don't just look up somebody's name and give you their information. I didn't ask you to get it. You look it up in the computer, you take it, I pay for it, we leave. It's not that hard. Give me my ring. Her attitude definitely isn't the best in any way, but the screaming match she initiated is definitely to notch, which can be noticed from the way all the other customers stop to watch with rapt attention. Bring your butt out here and you assist me out. Wait, bring it. That's all I want is my ring. Walk your pretty little legs no, out here. You are not. Just go back I'm there and give me my How hard is it? You can't shut Get up. the hell out of here. No. It's time to go. Byron tried to walk her out as she went on her mad rant, threatening to come back and raise hell another day, if need be, of course. I want to see you walk oh, outside. Come on. You're so big and bad, yelling, screaming, can't type anything to a computer. Oh, this bitch. I'm going to come back and get my I promise I'm gonna come back and get my- Bobby J had the terrible luck of having to attend this customer who came in looking to get themselves a ring. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Okay. All right, I'm Bobby J. Bobby J? Yeah. I'm gonna post my voice for tomorrow's our sixth anniversary, six years anniversary. Really? Yes. Okay. Yes. So things were off to a great start as they shared jokes amongst themselves. You would have thought the air around them would help push things towards a very positive end. Eyes that he uh, is, or ring wise? Oh, I believe man. Like, I mean, his hands sound, sound like yours. His hands are my size. Oh, okay. Let's go look at. Thanks. Right. How much is this one? This one right here? Yes, I like that one. Okay. Now, I gotta practice now. I gotta practice now. Much to Bobby's dismay, the customer had a very audacious request to make. 
but rather than rebuff the customer, Bobby decided to play along. The customer's king, after all. It seemed like I'm close to you, okay? Oh, oh. I, sure. I'll... I would be honored. Ah! Ah! That's my man. Ah! Uh, confused? Three, oh. 350. Yes, perfect, perfect. Let's get it rolled up. Okay, do plastic and do. That was funny. There's no way Bobby could ever live that down. Well, moving on, the customer decides to pay for the ring after that little practice. Can follow by the green button, please? Okay. Declined. It's not declined. It's no, declined. it says, can, can you try to guess who you are, please? Sure, try to get it. One more time, no problem. Declined. It's declined. It is not to client. You better all. No matter how many times I swipe it, it's not. The customer seems super pissed about the whole thing, and their attempt to put the whole tantrum to halt refused to go as planned, since the customer just wouldn't let up. Look, your sir, ass is gonna give me that brain. Sir, listen. Sir, sir. Uh-uh. Oh, you want to No, no, no. They, they, uh -uh. Get the away from me, okay? Calm down. Girl, this is my ass. Getting misgendered was the last straw, it seems. But before the customer could even get their hands on Ashley, the security team managed to get them out of the store. No. No, act like a lady. I am, I am acting like a lady, but she's gonna, she gonna sit there and call me something wrong. Damn, that's not true. Trina, no, sure. you left your credit card. I mean, I tried, okay? We tried. Opposed to, but if you don't have the money, don't. It might not exactly be the best deal, but at the American Jewelry and Loans, the best thing always comes with huge drama. Can you help me, sir? Sure. I'm trying to get a nice deal on my antique. It's been passed down from generation to generation to generation. Antique rosary. The guy seems super insistent on getting his money's worth out of the whole deal, but Les refused to just let him run amok without getting to know the full details about the rosary. Oh, how'd you get it? My grandfather gave it to me, okay? His grandfather, grandfather gave it to him. So it's been in our family for a long time, man. Why can't I get some for it then? Because we don't take crystal. I'll take your rings. Thank you. Why should it be precious to me? Because it's an tick. Didn't you hear that pop? Let's work something out, man. No, I can't take it. I'm sorry. Les clearly expressed his stark refusal to get the rosary, but this man wasn't willing to take no for an answer at all. But I think you need to work something out with me, man. What are you standing here for, man? Tell me, brother. Tell me, brother. Tell me. It's antique, man. Deal. No deal. Deal. Having gotten tired of the whole back and forth between the duo that was clearly going nowhere, Byron, the head jeweler, decided to step in. How much you gonna give me for? I'm gonna start running away out the door. Hold on, man. Hold on. I can leave on my own. Hey, you could have gave yourself. Give me the ring. I'll take the ring in pawn. Don't worry about it. In this episode, this customer was in the shop, hoping to get her hands on a ring to apparently celebrate her singledom. I'm actually in town looking for possibly some jewelry, a ring preferably. A ring? A Engagement? Ring. <laughs> this one is a princess cut center with two baguettes in the center. You can take it down about $13.50. 13 is kind of still high. Um, yeah. Ashley has been as helpful and totally cooperative as she could possibly be, but this woman decided to push her buttons. Cut the center with round diamonds on the side, set in 14 karat, and that one's 670. I'm gonna pay for it. Yeah. Mm, 450. Five. You just said 450. Well, if you're willing to go to five, that means you're willing to go lower, right? With a huge sense of blatant entitlement, the woman kept on asking to have a man help her out instead, since she found Ashley, a woman herself, totally incompetent. I just want to see how search you are. You're going to give it to me for 425? Plus tax. Michigan, I asked you how much you wanted for the ring. I gave you a price. 425 is what I want to pay without tax. I want someone with a penis. Uh, I want a man now. That's what I want to Oh, that's only people you do it? Yeah, it is. Apart from how vulgar she was being already, Ashley couldn't take the insult she's had to suffer from the insufferable woman. So she drew the curtains to this deal to close and had her sent out of the store. How about you hey, man right now? He's a man. Crazy. Am I? You are. Jealous ass bitch. Wish you look like Don't touch me. Don't touch me. 
Just as their name suggests, the American Jewelry and Loan doesn't dabble in loans and pawns alone. Sometimes, they make custom jewelry for interested customers. However, they made a huge mess while dealing with this customer. So do you think one of the people in every seat? Here were these two women that were buying earrings. They didn't have the receipt. We couldn't find our receipt. I photocopied the envelope that... Did you have the receipt today? You you listen, stop yelling. Y'all yeah. gave us no receipt. Rather than sort things out amicably, one of the women get pretty upset and decided the best option to take was to sick the police on them. Oh, 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 we want the original copy. We have no problem with the owning letting us spend our money towards something store and not give us not even no receipt. Hey, I said, I explained to him what was going on, then hung up. That didn't go as planned, and from the woman's facial expression, she clearly didn't expect that, but she would have if she'd taken the time to think deeply about it. If we had the cops coming every minute because somebody was upset, they might as well just park the car until they regain their senses and pick them up. Yeah, true, maybe he can be swing. I'll leave a man alone.